report it. Dave? Did you spend much of your workday sitting down? A lot of us do, but listen to this. Research shows folks who spend their workday sitting are more likely to be overweight, have diabetes, heart disease, or even cancer. In tonight's Primetime 5 Insight Report, how some folks are standing up to this new health threat and why you might want to try it. From standing all the time and taking regular walks and things like that, I've slimmed down considerably without much other change in my life, especially in diet. Some Utah workers are ditching their chairs and standing up for the to improve their health and attitude on the job. Feel better, yeah. Uh, more active, more awake, uh, not so tired, don't fidget around a lot. So I just feel less lazy in general. I feel more active even though I'm just standing. At Overstock.com, customer service workers are breaking free from their chairs. Yeah, so it's the XXOCWSH shift confirmed. Software developers aren't just standing at their computers. They hold standing meetings and move about the office to talk. It's just the response the company hoped for when it gave employees the option of an up or down workspace. They love the flexibility. They love the ability to decide what level they're going to sit at, whether they want to sit on a bar stool and adjust it to mid, you know, or all the way down to their chair or standing. Doctors diagnose better physical health for employees and financial health for companies, which empower workers who want to stand. If you're able to work and not calling sick and not have all these other issues, you're certainly going to improve the productivity of that business. So is sitting for more than six hours a day really the new smoking? Yeah, I mean, definitely it's very catchy. Catchy, but research out of the National Institutes of Health is concerning. It shows that when we sit, electrical activity in the muscles drops, causing the insulin in our bodies to be less effective. That increases the risk of diabetes and obesity. A sedentary lifestyle also causes the enzymes responsible for cleaning fat out of our bloodstream to slowly disappear. And that raises the threat of heart disease and some cancers. Doctors say those diseases sound a lot like the ones linked to long-term smoking. And desk jockeys and couch potatoes needed a wake-up call. Um, there's definitely large-scale effects of sedentary lifestyle in the city, and I think it's just one way that we can get people to think about it. People are thinking and feeling very differently about the hours they spend slumped behind a desk. If you're feeling tired, you can start, like, just messing around and it keeps you active. Cole Patterson was a tennis instructor before he took a sedentary job at the University of Utah and started experiencing back pain. He asked and received a standing desk. But I figured I would try some things out, try to change up what I was doing before I went and saw a medical professional, and it's worked exceptionally well. It's working because our bodies were designed for standing, not sitting. Simply, you know, putting weight on your bones is healthy for your bones. Healthy but hard for the person who has spent a career sitting. Yeah, it's uncomfortable in the beginning as any changes, but it's worth it in the end. In his department, Roos sees a building movement to overthrow the chairs. I don't know if it's peer pressure or, or what, but they, they'll start standing more and more. Businesses that are standing up for change like what they're seeing a happier and more productive workforce. When I'm sitting, I uh, can't seem to sit still, but when I'm standing, I can stand here and work without, you know, distractions. Just the up and down, the flexibility, keep your body moving, it's good for you. Very interesting. If your work requires you to sit for long stretches, there are ways to prevent the negative health effects. Health experts encourage doing simple exercises at your desk that force you to stand up and sit down, get up and walk around inside or outside the building during breaks. And they also say adding two hours of non-sitting time to your day will have a positive impact on your overall health. Words to live by, Dini. Yeah, very interesting. Thanks.